All right, guys. Today I'm going to be making some birch tar. So I've never had a go at this before, and I've looked it up. And um, birch tar's got a lot of good uses out of it. You can use it on leather. You can use it on wood. It's got a whole load of uses. Even um, I've heard medicinal as well, but I'm not too sure about that one. So. Um, I'm just going to go through the stages of making it and uh, we'll see what happens, so um, stay with me. Alright guys, so what I've got is a tin can, this is going to go in the ground, this is going to collect the uh, oil, if I get any, that is, if I do it right. Um, another thing you need is a biscuit tin, uh, this is a very nice one I found in the house. The um, thing you need to do as well is pierce a hole in the bottom of the tin because it is going to sit on top of it and that's how it's going to collect it. The next thing I've already done, I haven't filmed this, um, took quite a while to do, so I didn't want to bore you, um, was fill it with birch bark. Now I've crammed a load of dead birch in there. There's no need to go and take down live birches to do this. You can use dead birches. They've still got all the oils in it. And um, I've just wrapped them all up and put them really tight in there. Made sure that they're all facing the bark's facing the way that it would be on the tree so the um, oils, the tar, can just fall out of it and um, collect in the bottom. So the next thing to do is dig a hole for this pot and uh, I'll get back with you. Now you've got to get this right because the um, tin and the both tins have to sit flush with each other so this may take a bit of initiative getting it right all right so i've put the tin in and now i'm just carefully filling around the edges i don't really want to get any dirt in the actual tin all right so we've dug it in the hole now and um just get the tin find where the hole is underneath There we go, just place it on top, make sure it's nice and flush, it's not moving, and that's it. And now, move the camera, now what we need to do is build a fire on top. So we'll put the lid on, make sure it's all down flat. Alright, so I've got it going now, um, the fire's just on top at the moment, but as I move on to bigger logs and it gets bigger, I'll be able to move the fire around the whole, the whole of the actual tin as well. So uh, now it's just a matter of time, just waiting really, and just uh, keep adding to the fire. Uh, I, just, I was just um, reading a book and I noticed I could hear something, sort of like a trickling water sound, It's and also like a bubbling popping sound and I'm not sure if I'll pick it up on the camera don't really want to get it really close to the fire probably can't hear it it is quite um, faint compared to the flames but I'm hoping that's a good sign and it's actually 
extracting the um, oils from it. So um, it's not been long, it's only been about 20 minutes, so I'm going to leave it two hours. Uh, different, you know, people say leave it different times. Um, sometimes it's like eight hours, but I guess it depends on the size. Um, I've seen other people do similar size uh, jobs, like with containers. Oh, bit just rolled off, I'll get that in a minute. Um, people have said a few hours is usually a good time for biscuit tin size. Um, and that usually collects around half of a tin can. So um, we'll see how it goes anyway. But I'm really, I'm really hoping this works out because this is a like a skill that I've never really tried before. Um, I've done, I've done pine pitch uh, the other day. I actually made some pitch sticks, um, but it's not not really anything compared to this. It takes a lot more effort and time to do, and um, obviously. It, you don't only have to use it as glue, it can be used as many other things. But um, anyway, hopefully it goes well, so I'll get back, with, uh, get back to you in a while. Alright, so it's uh, been about two hours now, so I'm just going to take the coals away and see what we've got. See if it's actually worked. Bit hot. Yes. I've got a bit. Granted, it's not a lot, but I'm actually happy it's worked and that we've actually got some. Um, I'll check the inside of the tin in a minute, but um, just put the legs down, I'll show you. I'm really chuffed with that. I've never tried it before, and uh, pretty happy that it worked. If you can see it in there, yes, that's wicked. Right, um, I'm just going to get it out of the ground, guys, and I'll uh, get back to you. There we go. It does smell. I'm amazed. It does smell just like oil. Um, but there you go. I'm going to move it out of the smoke. Yeah. So it's just charred now. It's really crumbly. So I'll show you the oil. Uh, you can't really see that amazingly well. But you can see it's there. Um, it's probably, I don't know, a fifth full from the container, but you know, I'm happy with it. I'm happy it's worked. I've only left it a few hours, and to be honest, I think if I packed it even more and left it for a lot longer, then obviously I'd have more. Um, but I was just really anxious to see if it had worked or not. So I'm just gonna set it down to the side and let it cool off and uh, then I can put it in a jar so there we go guys it's the tin all the charred charred bark and here's the bounty. Awesome. Proper, proper chuff with that. It's quite lucky I didn't get much more actually because I wouldn't have been able to fit it in. But it does have a very oily, engine oily smell to it. Um, like I said, I'm going to look up um, more uses for this now I've got some. Um, I, 
pretty much just went straight into it. I didn't really research much about it, just how to make it. And um, But what I have heard, I've probably already said, but it stops leather from rotting. Um, I could probably use that because I do have a few hides that I need to sort out properly. Um, properly work on to make them, you know, uh, leather. I can't speak today. But you know what I mean, to stop them from rotting basically. And um, also it's meant to be good on wood. On woodwork, uh, preserves it and stops the wood from rotting and things like that. So I'm going to look into what I can use it for. But I do think it was well worth the time to make it. Um, obviously it's very different from pine pitch. And um, you can turn this into glue, make it to a pine pitchy um, solution, same consist consistency, but um, you have to, you just add this to the fire then in the container and boil it up, but um, I decided not to do that, I think I'd leave it as oil for the time being. So that's it for this one guys, just a how to video on um, making birch tar, birch oil. Um, it was a first for me, and I really had fun doing it. I'm glad it. I'm glad it actually worked. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one, guys. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cheers.